Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the premium version of malware bytes using the free trial and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 449 samples in total and we will be using these samples to see how well malware bytes does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable the real-time protection and we will let it sit for just a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own after which we will run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will try to execute the remaining samples and see if the real-time protection can stop them. We'll first check for updates, and we are up to date, and the real-time protection has been enabled, and we'll let it sit for just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and double check the samples folder. We are still at 449, and so at this point, let's go ahead and initiate a scan, and we will wait until this is fully completed. The scan has completed and it found 431 results. We'll go ahead and click quarantine. We'll go ahead and restart. After restart, if we double check the samples folder, we can see that we're down to 25, so we're going to scan it directly. Two more samples were detected. We'll go ahead and quarantine. And with 23 remaining, we'll go ahead and execute. Execution is completed. It looks like 23 samples are in the samples folder. Malwarebytes continuously pops up claiming that it's blocking, uh, but nothing's been removed. We'll restart and do one last scan. The scan has completed and it found three more, so we'll go ahead and quarantine. After restart, ran a scan with Hitman Pro and it came back with multiple results detected. I also noticed Windows Defender or Windows Security Antivirus also had multiple detections. I also ran a scan with MZSoft and zero results were detected. After all of that, there were six samples remaining. I did run those six through VirusTotal and this is the first one, the second one, third, fourth. The fifth one actually came back clean and then the sixth. As you could see, Malwarebytes did have some misses and Windows built-in antivirus as well as Hitman Pro cleaned those up. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.